Brian Zerusky here again. Uh, now we're going to try to work K5B on 40 meters CW. Right now he's uh, working uh, the uh, Europe, European Union, EU. So right now I'm just going to like kind of tell you how I'm working, how I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. So that way I do it because I don't, I know CW. I know how to send my call sign at 33 words per minute as he is. But uh, just for accuracy purposes, I'm using Digital Master 780 and a uh, program called Ham Radio Deluxe. Um, with the, they both have like an integrated log and whatnot. But anyway, I got a little um, here interface that goes that has a, that goes to a serial port, which actually goes to a USB to serial converter because what computers have serial ports anymore? Um, <coughs> So anyway, here's the screen uh, decoding CW. The fast one you hear is K5B. Can't really hear any other DX because um, terrible DX on my end, I guess. DX ability. Terrible camera, terrible quality. So sorry, but anyways, here's the radio. Kind of close up. But uh, what it does, I have a few macros and uh, back to the computer screen. <laughs> I have a few macros like right here. There's a call, and I'm gonna put it into a uh, side tone mode and just kind of listen. Yeah, if I just click it, it'll send it. Right. And then if I catch him, I'll hit this button. Oh, you know that's fast enough because everybody's like, uh, uh, did it, did it, did it, five nine nine. Thank you. <laughs> so, the other guys on the other end are probably way faster than that. So, whatever though, whatever works. Here's a really bad case of some uh, jammers. Whenever you start sending, someone sends a tone. Just overlapping them, and just kind of ditting and downing and doing whatever. And being a real butt, you know. It's really annoying and not, not helping. I think I'm still too long. There we go, we got him. Oh my gosh, that was really confusing because he, he kept screwing up on my call sign for some reason. But, uh, as you see here, um, oh, you can't really see there, in the blue, N0SSC5, and then I said, and then he said, N0SSCT. Wow, that took about an hour. So it wasn't that bad, but it was really frustrating. I mean, people need to stop 
jamming K5D because a lot of people need to work them, or want to work them rather, not really need because this is a hobby and not a need, but whatever, that's, that's irrelevant, but some self-discipline will be needed in the amateur creative community. But anyway, there you have it, um, 100 watts through a G5 RV, uh, 40 meters, 40 meter K5D on CW, uh, 73s, and good luck, um, UDXers. Hope to hear you on the air.